Hello and welcome to Trimble TVC Survey and Construction Channel. My name is Hughes. I'm your host of this video. In this video, I will show you a new feature of TBC 5.0 tunneling module. With this feature, you can transform point cloud points into SBIL points and create and customize reports from them. The idea of creating SBIL tunnel points is to use it um, to generate custom reports. Now we will be able to uh, generate the cross-section as build points in simple as one click. So let's um, let's find the uh, the command. The command is located under the tunnel tab in the report section, and let's select the assign tunnel points. Um, the assign tunnel point command will uh, prompt right away. Um, first of all, let's us um, Let's specify exactly the same tunnel. And in the selection method, let's do uh, from point cloud. So as we can see, there is a bunch of information just popped up. Um, but uh, some of them are already uh, automatically uh, populated. Um, Let's say in this case, um, we'll create tunnel points for the entire tunnel length. And um, we'll be doing it at an uh, interval of, uh, let's say, 10 meters for the, uh, for the simplicity. Um, and um, user can check these boxes as their needs. And also, we'll be able, uh, we should specify a shape. And in the point cloud region, let's select the entire point cloud region. And again, we'll be able to have a, a, have a sampling option. Um, the sampling option uh, pretty much con uh, controls how many points is uh, how many points will be sampled along the uh, along the cross section shape. The smaller this number is, the more dense your uh, Asphalt tunnel points will be. Um, otherwise, uh, vice versa, if you have a larger number, uh, the less Asphalt tunnel points will be generated. And um, the points are uh, uh, numbered by automatically by using station and point index, and you can change this um, point numbering format as you wish. Again, let's put it onto a different point layers. Let's call it as build a b points and hit close. If you are familiar with feature coding or if you want to put feature code on it, on these uh, uh, going to be generated points, you can enter the feature codes here. But uh, in this case, I will not be assigning any feature codes to these points. Now we can just hit add. After a few moments, all of these SPL points are generated. As we can see at station zero, we have 11 points. Station 10, we have 11 points and etc. And it goes all the way up to 60. So uh, let's, um, uh, let's um, save these points by hitting apply. And then we'll go OK. So now these points are uh, generated. Let's turn it back on. To better visualize it, I'll turn off the, uh, the point clouds. And then turn off the uh, turn off some other layers. So these are the new tunnel points that we just generated from the uh, point cloud data. As we can see, the point names denote um, the stationing and the index of the point. On station zero, we have in total eleven points. Uh, Station 10, we have 11 points, etc. goes all the way up to 60. With these uh, SBIL points now created, we'll be able to uh, do customer report and uh, find out where the um, 
um, overbreak and underbreak areas are and calculate volumes out of it. Uh, to generate a report, let's go again under Tunnel tab, Reports, and uh, Tunnel as Bill Report. Let's um, do a Create Custom Report. Let's call it uh, Tunnel Report with Volume. And down here, let's select this and in the report layout file let's again select the same one and hit edit layout this um, this will trigger um, the layout file to be open in the Microsoft Word and um, in here we'll be able to find um, the volume information under uh, uh, folder 78 tunnel uh, 101 volume and um, now we have the four data views available in um, in this report um, for the time being i will not be uh, redoing some of the formatting i'll be inserting I'll just insert some of the uh, the data fields, and we'll take a look at the uh, the result after we actually generate the report. To add the data field into the report, we just simply drag and drop the data field to the blank area in the report. Uh, for example, uh, let's do a total overbreak area. For the time being, I will not demonstrate inserting all of them, but um, as a user, you will be able to uh, redesign this report and um, generate um, the the type of the the type of report you uh, you would like to see. Um, and for now, I will just hit OK and save this, and we will be examining the uh, overbreak area uh, later in this part of the uh, video. Now we're back to the TBC. Let's hit OK. The newly generated uh, customer report can be found uh, again in the Tunnel as Build report. Um, this time we'll be generating uh, the tunnel report with volume that we just created. Um, once, we, <clears throat> once we click on that, the Tunnel as Build report command will display. Um, and as we can see, all these as build points that we just created are automatically uh, entered into uh, the command. We are able to specify the beginning and end station. In this case, I'll just do uh, the entire uh, length of the uh, tunnel. And also, uh, user will be able to specify some tolerances. Um, in this case, I'll just keep them as, as it is right now and hit OK. A report is generated in a Word document very quickly. Um, as we can see, we'll be able to see the uh, uh, total overbreak area. Uh, uh, should have said volume in there, but um, um, this number is calculated uh, for the uh, total overbreak uh, volume. Uh, and we'll be able to see uh, underbreak and overbreak directly uh, on the on the plot. And we'll have tabulated information in the bot, uh, in the second page. Let me quickly summarize. In this video, we have looked at how to generate as build points in Point Cloud through generate as build tunnel points. 
and uh, its application in creating custom report to calculate volumes and uh, underbreak overbreak area. Thank you for watching this video.